Hello, I'm Tabitha and I am a volunteer mealtime assistant at Ashgate Hospice. I work the like evening shift, so five to half past six. Um, and I'm here today just to kind of, well, I'm filming today just to kind of explain to you a bit about what my role is, why I enjoy volunteering and what Ashgate as like a place and a community gives me. So I'm going to get changed into my uniform and then go ahead down to the little kitchen in the ward. Okay, so now I'm in my uniform, we've got the um, aprons on and so the first thing that I do at the start of a shift is I'll come into the little kitchen that's on the ward and check the trolley tray and then, which has all the trolleys for the patient's food and then take that out onto the ward to be ready to hand it out, to be handed out. And then, so I'll make sure that that's all stocked up, that there are enough things and then I'll come back into here and I'll look through the trays and check that each one of them has a napkin and a placemat um, and if anything needs sorting then I'll just quickly sort that and then I wait in here for the food trolley to come and then I go and hand out the patient's food. Um, so this we, we give patients starter, main and a dessert um, and there's normally about three options for each course that they can choose from which um, one of the kitchen staff um, goes and <clears throat> asks people what they want, like give, gives them a menu and takes their order kind of thing earlier in the day. Um, and then I get there and I'll take them their food, take back their pots. And when I've got their pots, we take them up to the kitchen to put them through the dishwasher um, and to dry them and then we'll put them back and kind of get everything set up for the next day, make sure the trolley tray is restacked, take all the staff pots back to the staff room um, and one of the things I like the most about being in this role is the fact that I get this chance to kind of interact with patients um, a lot of the time I don't think that especially people my age we don't really have many opportunities or a lot of people don't seek opportunities to volunteer and kind of give back to a community and I find that this has been a really nice way for me to kind of build my confidence for one um, so with the with this role there are a lot of new people that you meet and a lot of new people that you have to kind of learn to talk to and some people who have hearing impairments and things like that so you have to learn how to communicate in different styles to people which I found really really helpful for me personally in terms of growing my confidence and developing my ability to interact with people just in general in the public without feeling quite as nervous um, and I think it's also really nice to see the, the family aspect of all the patients because a lot of patients come in and they'll be surrounded by family and it's really nice to be in a, a, such a supportive environment both for the patients and for the staff so I'm the youngest person on when I'm on shift and everybody's been really really welcoming to me and everybody's made sure that I know what I'm doing and if I have any questions that they'll answer them and everyone always has a smile on and they're all, always a friendly face and we have a bit of a laugh every now and then and it's just a really nice environment to be in and I couldn't ask for better colleagues um, now I'm gonna go hand out patients meals and get back to you in a little bit okay so we've just finished giving out everybody's meals and see that's one of the things that I love the most about volunteering at Ashgate because I'm a full-time college well, sick form student so I don't have that much time to be able to have like large commitments to things so what I found really really great about Ashgate is that it's a small amount of time but the impact I get to have on people and helping kind of things run in an evening is really significant so it's a really good opportunity for me to get this experience in a healthcare setting which is um, really valuable for me because I want to be a doctor in the future and to also kind of have this time to socialise with people outside of my school circle. So I've met a lot of people that I've become quite good friends with at Ashgate, which has been a really nice experience because it's one of the things I was most nervous about when I started here was that I'm quite young and I didn't think that there'd be anybody that I'd be able to relate to very well and I, I felt like I'd always kind of feel a bit uncomfortable. But immediately I've just become really, really comfortable with everybody here all of the staff are lovely 
as you're walking down the corridor, you'll like every person you come by will give you a smile or say hi to you or something like that. It's it's a really really welcoming environment, and it's not just with the staff that the um, staff are this nice. They're also really 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 good with patients, which is something that I think has been really important for me to see because, for me, having witnessed the the way that um, the staff communicate and interact with patients and the respect that they give them and the dignity that they ensure they maintain, that kind of thing has been really helpful in informing the way that I want to act when I'm a doctor. So I think even if you don't want to have a role in healthcare or anything like that, volunteering in any situation will be a wonderful experience to meet new people, to gain new skills, to build your confidence and to just kind of get yourself in a new environment and doing things that you wouldn't necessarily otherwise do because I think like three years ago I never would have expected me to be here every Monday and actually like contributing in, in the way that I am so it's a really wonderful experience and every volunteer should be proud of the work that they do and yeah it's just a, it's a really really nice community and environment to be in so I'm, I'm really happy that Ashgate is the place that I chose to volunteer and that I've kind of, everybody's helped me settle in so well. So, so I've now just finished for the day. Um, we washed all the dishes, um, all the patients are fed. Um, and yeah, so on to next week when I'm doing everything again. And it's going to be different but the same and it's going to be great. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And I hope that it's been informative and I hope that I've inspired you to see if there are any volunteering opportunities around you because, as I've said, volunteering is really, it's been one of the greatest things that I've done in the past two years and it's been an experience that I never would have, like, convinced myself to do. But I did and I'm so glad that I did because um, I've just, I've met so many amazing people and I've had such a good time at Ashgate, so... If you have the opportunity to volunteer yourself, then absolutely do.